Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome to more Patron in the town of Gimliesburg. We've made a lot of progress over the last couple of videos. We are growing our population fairly nicely. And then lo and behold, there was an update for the game as of March 9th. So uh, just a little bit before I'm actively recording this. It does feel like this happens a lot. Like there's an update that comes for a game shortly after my first or second recording uh, session. And usually it breaks my save and or requires I restart, or at least I have to contemplate restarting. The good news is in Patron it appears to be a retroactive upgrade, so I don't have to make any changes. We've just got access to a bunch of new content. That new content including such things as prisons, embassies, tax offices, and the jobs to go with it. More beautification in the form of plazas and tower bridges and so on. That's all pretty cool. But I don't have to worry about that right now because, oh, we have to worry about a tornado instead. That seems like a bit more of an important thing. I kind of forgot about that, but here comes a tornado right through the center of town. And I see some houses just ex ex exploding. No, not even exploding. They're just literally disintegrating. What the heck? There's no rubble or anything. Right, okay, well I seem to have uh, found myself with another housing shortage. Thank you, Tornado, for going immediately down the center like that. That was incredibly unlucky. That felt like a critical hit for a Tornado right there. Absolutely outstanding. All right, well, we'll go ahead and rebuild those homes. In the meantime, what else do we need to worry about right now? Well, I do think I need to pull back a couple of jobs on things like fish. We have a lot of food being stored up, and it is nice to have lots of food. However, too much food means I'm taking up a lot of my inventory space, and I'm not a big fan of that arrangement, so I think we should go ahead and pull back at least a little bit over there. Let's also plan on pulling out some roads over here. I think we may want to set up some additional farms and such. Let's go for a quick crop field over this away. Go for some extra wheat production, because I am going to be building up a distillery soon. And I don't think it would be a bad idea to just get myself a ranch. Now, I was just talking about not needing more food, and I sort of stand by that, but at the same time, you know, a little bit of extra diversification probably doesn't hurt me right now, right? It's probably always good to have at least a fair variety of food, plus things like ranches will end up providing a fair bit of other sub-products, I guess. You are going to be set to wheat. Let's assign a couple of farmers like so. And then for the ranch, we can buy animals... Do we have any animals to start? We do. Chicken and sheep. Mm, I feel like sheep are probably fine. We don't really need the food. I could just go ahead and start buying some extra animals. I assume by small animal, what they mean is young animal versus a fully grown adult that can continue to breed. This does require oats in order to do this. Ah, so the more animals we have, the more that I have to provide for it. That, that does make sense. Yeah, all right. That's a little inconvenient, but it does make sense. So I can't really be upset about it. Uh, let's go ahead and plan out a quick little farm off in this direction. And once this one's built, we'll start growing some oats just to keep these guys sustained. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Again, not looking to get more food. I just, I feel like we should just go ahead and continue planning a little bit for the future. We are expecting a big population boom in the near future. Uh, real quick, let's go to this um, dock and we could expand its capacity a little bit more. Which will let me sell off a little bit of extra stuff. Fish isn't exactly worth a lot of money, but it does clear out a little bit more space, so I'm okay with that. We should have some new research, by the way, that came along with some things. Do we want a Pottery Apprentice right now? No. There's the tower bridges I was talking about, plus small courtyards and stuff. That's all cool. But instead, let's go ahead and learn about those distilleries. I think that will end up being helpful. How are we doing as far as jobs? We have a couple of extra workers that were fishermen right now. They'll just go around and do literally anything else for a bit. Not feeling too worried about it. Let's expand out some of these roads and stuff. It is hilarious to me, by the way. I've looked at the screenshots of this game, like, on the store marketplace and stuff like that. And they beautify their game way more than I do. They've got these nice little picturesque forests with buildings placed kind of haphazardly apart from each other with little winding roads. And I'm just like, no, efficiency. This is banished, right? It's just what you do. It's like... It doesn't look as good what I'm doing compared to what the, uh, the advertisers for the game are showing off, but... It's efficient, dang it. It does work. I promise you it does. By the way, I think something we had talked about doing in the last video was setting up another area for some forestry. Was that kind of the plan? That feels familiar to me. So I think we want to go ahead and start planning some of this out. I don't necessarily want to build out any of the food and um, other production buildings yet, but I do want to at least place them so I know where they're going to end up going. Let's go for a forester's hut probably right over there. We're going to need to get another herbalist hut as well, which is a huge freaking building, plus a depot right along there will do fine. Okay, so we can pause the herbs. We can pause everything but the forester and the depot, I think. 
And if you want to have some extra jobs working over here to start producing a bit more lumber, since we are apparently using more than I am producing, this is going to take care of some other future needs. All right. All looking good there. There's a the distillery, by the way. Takes 450 wheat per year. I definitely do not produce that much. 324. We'll be able to get up to 576. So we'll produce about eight to 900 wheat per year with these farms once this is done. But we'll have to wait until the next growing season to take advantage of that right now anyway. So there's not a lot of point in building the distillery yet. Though I guess we could always just place it. I mean, it doesn't have to actually go down this second. What other research would I like to do? Well, I don't have enough money for anything else, so I tell you what, we go up over here, and we're just going to go ahead and sell off another chunk of fish. Make up some dang space. So now we've, we're, we, we keep floating right back up to 9,000, but all right. I've left a big square open here, by the way, because I would like to at some point place down something like a large square. Just a nice little beautification plaza. A pirate trader. Oh my, one of these people, huh? Mm, well, we don't have any merchants and gentry. I could sell off a lot of stuff, but let's just go ahead and make people happy. It's not like I see a lot of point in trading with the pirates right about now. Fun though it may be, it doesn't really accomplish anything for me at the moment, so we're just not going to do it. I want to go ahead and get some additional upgrades to my roads. Yeah, probably. We should just go ahead and do something like this. I know it takes up a lot of my stone, but this is a general rule. Having people able to walk around a lot faster. We've talked about this before. It's a really good idea. There we go. This all seems to be fine. I will be making use of jump cuts a lot more in this video, and I think every video going forward. Not because, like, the game's boring and all that. As much as just, like, there's a fair bit of waiting involved, right? And until someone invents a mod that I can go up to 20 times speed without causing some serious instability issues, then, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to live with that for a little bit. So I'll use jump cuts. I wanna make sure you guys get plenty of content per video to make this very much engaging and exciting every single time. So I hope you guys won't be upset about that, but we're gonna go ahead and do a jump cut right about now. Winter has come once again, but we have more than enough food to weather the storm. How are we doing as far as houses? Still pretty good on that front. Does seem like we are using up a lot more of our stone, but that's because I kind of did place down a bunch of roads. Yeah, nothing really going on here. This seems to be a pretty easy winter for us. I did have to import some oats in order to feed our sheep because it would have sucked if they died, but it looks like they have already procreated, so that does confirm that indeed adults do uh, give birth, which makes perfect sense. It is unfortunate that regardless of size, they eat the same amount of food, so that's going to end up being a bit of a problem at some point. One thing I think this game will benefit from someday if they can ever add it in, will be uh, production caps for certain types of resources. Oh, good lord. Um, right, so hang on. You're telling me that the stuff that I've been trading now, fish, uh, is now gonna cost even more. Wow, thank you, King. Raising taxes like that. We need a revolution. That's what we need. We need our little revolution action. Let's go ahead and sell off herbs instead to make some money. There. Silly King, I'll sell other things instead. I wonder if they actually track what you sell the most of recently and raise taxes based on that for a challenge. That'd be very interesting. Let's go ahead and research the warehouse. This is something I think I'm going to need because we have been struggling for uh, storage space for a little bit, hence the food problems. So I feel like getting bigger storage areas with warehouses is going to be a smart way to go. There we go. Warehouses are available. They are a fair bit larger than the uh, depots we had to work with previously, but I guess that's okay. Kind of. Um, It's an unfortunate size, really. Uh, whew. Well, we could place one kind of smack dab in the middle of town. And I think that's probably worth doing just because having the most storage access in a central location is going to end up being a good thing, but still. Keep selling off the extra firewood. We got plenty of that going around. That gets me more money, but uh, actually our money production seems to have slowed down a fair bit. Part of it's because I'm spending a fair bit of it, but you, you get the idea. Um, what else should we research here? We could do research drafting. Reduce the time it takes to conduct research by 30%. Honestly, not that big of a deal for a thousand coins in particular. I mean, yeah, shaving off a few days here and there could be okay, but like, meh, shouldn't really need that. Fishery, grow fish in artificial ponds, okay. I mean, I can get plenty of fish that are organic from the sea, but sure, that's also a thing. Stone well, an even better well, I like that idea. Pig ranch, fountains, ponds, a carpenter's hut level two allows the production of decoration in the carpenter's hut. So, do I upgrade the existing building? Or is it a new building entirely capable of producing a new good? Ooh, if we do a drop down here, we can see that, yeah, furniture was an option. I'll bet you it's the same thing. Carpenter's Hut, same building, but we'll have new recipes to drop down. See, I didn't even realize there were going to be a bunch of different recipes available. Now, that is interesting. That kind of opens up, like, the possibilities as far as, like, what we're going to be able to do with each of these buildings by a lot. 
if we stop producing clothes at some points and start producing like heavy, I don't know, mink coats or something. I, the sky's the limit. You can do all sorts of things. And even if it's not in the base game, all you gotta do is write a mod for it. This actually feels like a game that would be pretty easy to mod with even more stuff if you want to. It already has plenty to work with, so I'm not saying you need to do more in order to make this game worthwhile. I'm simply saying it's amazing how many options there are going to be. Okay, I finished constructing our distillery, so we'll go ahead and set that up. I don't suppose you have a bunch of different options for production. For now, only beer, but I'm willing to bet we are going to get upgrades there too. More King's Ransom? Good lord! Fine, they're bleeding us dry once again. How very irritating you are. Let's reduce how much wheat and firewood is required. I mean, it just cost me some coal, uh, gold and some iron. And we've just made our distillery, like, twice or more as efficient as it was prior. So we'll get a lot more value out of this. And we're not going to drain quite through so much of our wheat in order to gain a lot of beer. So now we're going to have a whole bunch of laborer luxuries coming in. How many laborers do we have? It looks like we have eight now. So a handful more have been promoting. I don't know if maybe they automatically promote based on job type. That could make sense if certain like advanced jobs become available, someone has to fill the need, so they go ahead and just promote themselves to take that job. Could very well be the case, right? Like somebody who works at a clothes shop, for example, right? That would be that would make sense. I don't know. But uh, until someone tells me exactly what it is, I'm just going to pretend that they are mystery people who just randomly show up, and we're going to try to meet their needs regardless of where they came from. Hmm, what else should we research over here? We could go for the deep mine. Boosts up the coal mines if iron is nearby. Yeah, we've got that already set up. There's a reason we built this stuff in a cluster, am I right? So yeah, with the iron mine nearby, that means even more coal, although I'm actually starting to produce a pretty hefty amount of coal. There was a time when we didn't have nearly enough of that going around, but it seems like we're doing okay now. Oh, I just realized we never actually did insulate all these houses after we rebuilt them from the freaking tornado. So yeah, let's go ahead and sort through all this, make sure we haven't forgotten anything else. I know at least a couple of these houses over here haven't got insulation. We'll fix that. There we go. Not that I've needed it up to this point. It seems like where our coal is doing fine, but okay. The king sends his regards. I'm so sorry for taxing all your fish. Here, have some fish. By the way, you'll owe me taxes on that. Thank you, king. I'm starting to realize why we don't like kings. Kings are, um, well, a little fickle, aren't they? Yes, they are. They're very fickle folk. There's the research done for Carpenter's Hut 2. Okay, decoration, what do you take? Less wood, more tools, and some iron, it looks like. That's basically what you get out of it. And decorations count as what? Ah, merchant luxuries. Okay, so that's getting a bit ahead of ourselves. We definitely have no need for any of that. Unless we want to go ahead and build up another Carpenter's Hut with the intention of selling every one of those decorations for presumably a lot of money. I think it's hilarious, by the way, that in the order of like importance in people's lives, right? Clothes, pottery, furniture, beer, tobaccos, cider, combs. Like, like a simple hair comb? Like, is that big of a deal to you people as a freaking comb? I feel like, I feel like cavemen figured that out from animal bones a long time ago. Why are we making a big deal out of combs? It's some sort of a luxury. Oh my, it's a comb. Maybe I'm completely ignorant on that. Maybe combs are a really big freaking deal. I have no idea, but regardless. Uh, we are going to go for a research called No Waste Approach, which uh, boosts the adjacent bonus of any other additional carpenter's huts. So by placing two of these next to each other, which is what I did there, uh, we'll be able to boost up their productivity by another 20%. Now that matters a lot, but if I am going for those decorations and I'm looking for money, then hey, it could add up over time, sure, why not? Yeah, there we go. No Waste Approach is done, and even though this Carpenter's Hut is turned off, I just saw a boost here. We're now producing 396 furniture per year off of only 90 lumber. I mean, take the cost of the lumber and the tools and then factor in how much we're getting out of furniture. We're definitely creating wealth. There's no doubt about it. What I would like to do if I could, is place down a second dock somewhere. Unfortunately, it looks like we got some cliffs over here, which are making that pretty difficult. And unless we're willing to knock down some other buildings, um, like our pottery hut, it doesn't look like I can fit another one over here. Is it worth getting rid of the pottery workshop? I mean, we have invested a little bit in it, but I've also got way more pottery than I need right now. We could afford to not have this for a bit. Yeah, I think it's time to go ahead and do that. And this is one of those reasons we allowed for the maximum refund value in the event that I wanted to make some changes, and this is one of them. We did not value the um, the uh, shore space for the docks quite as much as I think we should have. And the result being that, you know, we didn't have enough space to place on a second dock. But being able to double my trade output, I think, 
is going to end up being pretty significant for me. So we're going to go ahead and place down another dock, and then we'll place that pottery workshop somewhere. I don't know. It's just not a very high priority. The good thing about having some established wealth is when you do place down a new one of these buildings, you can go for maximum upgrades, like, right away. So now we've got plenty of cargo space and trade delivery time, whereas before it took me a while to build this all up. We just get a lot of value pretty much right away, which feels real good, man. Feels real good. Uh, why is this not all sorted by, like, alphabetical order? There we go. I don't know why it wasn't sorted that way, but there we go. That's a lot of money from pottery. And I got way more pottery than I could possibly have used. Heck yes, man. We need to become a luxury-producing town and just sell everything we've got back to the old world. That's what we gotta do. My younglings, don't let Anakin Skywalker anywhere near them. My lord, I've been approached by some shady figures. They know the city is in a rough spot and they claim they're willing to help. They want some of our young people. Are you insane? I have a counter-proposal. Shackle him up and send him to the mainland till the king's men deal with despicable trafficking. Um, yes. We're not in any danger. We're having no trouble at all. If anything, I need more children, not less. All right? Oh, I guess we all should consider the morality of selling our children into slavery, but that's beside the point as well. No, it's totally the point, but regardless, we're fine. Don't insult me. So yeah, send that guy to prison, dang it. Send him to prison. I, I, don't, I don't accept your despicable offers here. Get out of here. Let's see. I have now researched the candle shop. We could research tariffs which increases taxation on all peasants and laborers. Probably reduces their happiness a bit, but 15% extra taxes, man. Hmm. And then there's duties, which increases the taxation on merchants. <laughs> Duty. Or alternatively, a market. The best way to kickstart the economy. Yas! Let us get ourselves a thriving marketplace with which we will be able to distribute all of our goods and maybe take a little bit off the top. Another gosh dang tornado. Cool. Um, where, 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 where is said tornado? Uh, do tornadoes automatically go straight through the center of freaking town every time? My god. Okay, are there t tornadoes that go across the map all the time and we only get a pop-up whenever there's, like, actually one about to hit us straight on? Is that how this works? I don't know, but now we gotta build a whole bunch of new houses. Gosh dang this weather. This is an island. What kind of an island has a whole bunch of tornadoes like this? This doesn't seem very realistic. What are you all doing to me? Mm, let's see, market radius is another thing we could upgrade. Probably worthwhile, so it gives me a better idea of how we can place our market. Um, where is said market? Is it a town building? Yes. All right, sell goods to the citizens around the market. The more citizens living nearby, the more goods are sold, and the city budget gets a cut of the profits. So if we were to place it up over here, for example, we get a pretty good chunk of uh, people involved. Believe it or not, placing it where I had planned on having my town square wouldn't be a bad spot either. Uh, up over here would have been nice, but it's not going to get a lot of value. Um, I'm kind of thinking that maybe a marketplace over here would make some sense then. At least it does cover a lot of houses, maybe not as much as I would have liked, but it covers some. The only problem is I'm betting that we're going to need a worker over here, and do I have a lot of workers to spare? No, because uh, despite all my efforts... It still takes forever for children to grow freaking up. Gosh dang it, you stinking children. Grow up faster. I know they say that you only get to live your childhood once and you should treasure it while you can, but they're lying to you. Grow up faster. Should we learn how to make a town hall? Yes, we should learn how to make a town hall. That will be an upgrade right there for my gathering hall. Get me some additional influence. Which means I would be able to consider a few new policies, and there are a handful to consider here, including things like market tolls, which gets me more money from markets. Or a uh, policy reduces the royal fee whenever conducting trade, which would just basically straight out get me extra money, because I do rely on this for my money a lot, so this would be pretty huge. But I'm pretty sure it does reduce loyalty over time, so that's a thing. Let's see, we also get things like pollination, so we want to have our bur uh, sorry, our bees next to our orchards, okay. Cemeteries, probably not a bad idea, frankly. I'm surprised there aren't any, like, proper churches yet. I feel like there ought to be. Orchard seeds, okay, also allow for the production of brandy. Ooh, I like brandy. Brandy is nice. Hey, there's the town hall done. That gets me four more influence points with which to work. Unfortunately, I have none that I want to enact yet. Still, okay, good. So this gives me a fair bit more to look forward to. Do we have more workers? Yes, we do. Thank God. Let's go ahead and assign somebody over here into the carpenter's hut. You're going to start making some of that decoration. I'm going to reduce your upkeep a few times so I can reduce how much of that lumber 
we are using up because, um, yeah, we're, we're going through our lumber pretty darn quick. I keep alternating here with these forester's huts, trying to make them plant down and then only kind of cut when I need to, but I was getting down to practically no lumber at all before I had to swap it back over. You get a lot of lumber whenever we do that, it's just I'm chopping down all these trees and making everything else less efficient. I would like to maybe make, um either a mod or a proposal to make the Forester's Lodges just a little bit more sustainable, so you don't accidentally cut faster than you grow, even with all of those upgrades. Hey look, more trafficking options. No, freaking heck, get the heck out of here. I'm shocked this even builds up happiness. Personally, I would feel very unhappy knowing that someone even offered to buy our children like this. Come on, let's go ahead and assign somebody here to the market and what can we upgrade? Coins per house in radius increases. Okay. Um, so it looks like we are going to be able to make a little bit of money. The more I upgrade this, the more I get. So this will pay for itself eventually, though it's going to take a very, very long time. The more houses and residents are specifically here. So building tall with less houses would also be viable. But I don't even know how you would do that. So maybe stone houses and stuff? I don't know. Regardless, okay, so that's a, that's a pretty nice little chunk of extra money that's going to be coming in. I don't think it's as much as I was expecting it to be. But if we keep building our houses in its radius, of course, it's going to get better and better as time goes on. The only downside is I'm also kind of intruding on my soil fertility areas, but... Oh well, I think that's fine. We'll figure that out in the future. For now, I do think that we're going to go ahead and end this video here. Plenty of money to work with right now, and... Yeah, I am going to go ahead and research that trade customs, because I think that's going to help me continue making a lot of money going forward. Our production is looking pretty darn good across the board. We are still very much self-sustained and happy, making plenty of luxury goods, making plenty of money, even making some of those decorations now on the off chance we start getting some merchants in the near future. Aha! Thank you all for much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.